Uh, my name is Stephanie Marroquin, and I work for Pure FPS. I'm the producer on Alone in the Dark Illumination, and we're here at GDC to talk about the game. So what is Alone in the Dark Illumination? Alone in the Dark Illumination is a reinvented version of Alone in the Dark series. Our version is a four-player co-op game, but also a single player, and it's more of an action horror game. So this game has its online co-op. Go into a little about that. Oh, you'll be able to play anywhere from one to four players in a single game, and players will be able to choose one of four available characters, and they can max out four on a, of the same one as well. So we'll have a hunter, who is our weapon expert. He has different weapons, and he has a, a flamethrower. He has an AK-47, a P-90. We have a witch who controls electricity. We have an engineer, who is our little tech, who has uh, these cookie inventions that she uses in order to uh, battle the, uh, the creatures. And we have a priest who uses the Lord's light to battle. Now you guys have a cool light mechanic in the game. Explain how that works. So we're playing with the the alone in the dark uh, idea of having to fight these creatures that are using the darkness, the power of darkness. So in order to fight these creatures, you have to use the power of light, illumination, in order to fight them. So if an area is completely dark, you have to find or create your own light source in order to fight them. If you try to find them in the darkness, unless you have a special power, you will not be able to kill them. Now, is this uh, Alone in the Dark canon? Is this a direct sequel to the other Alone in the Dark games? Um, we have some story connections to it. So, like, our hunter, who is our main character, is a direct descendant of Edward Carnby from the original series. We also have our witch, who is a direct descendant of Emily Hartward, who is also from the first and the third um, original games. So talk about the campaigns that will be in this game. We're going to have three available campaigns on launch. And our first one, it's we're going through different areas of the town. So the first one is just an introduction into the town and going into a mining complex to try to figure out what happened to this town and why it was overrun. And through each campaign, it'll take you to a different section. The following section would be the cemetery, where you start to find a little bit more of what's going on and where these creatures are taking over. And finally, you'll end up in the mining complex, which is an outer area of the town itself. So talk about how multiplayer works in this game. So we can play it by yourself, or you can play with up to four people. You can play anywhere from two, three, four people. And it's you're running through the same campaigns, but with the difficulty totally cranked up, depending on how many people are playing with you. Now, can you have multiple classes on the same team, or is it one person per class in each group? You can have multiple. So if you want to, you can have four witches running around in the same game. Does that, does that work? Does it unbalance anything, or...? Make it too hard? We're working on making sure that it's well balanced, but yeah, so far it's a pretty fun game. And do you have a favorite class to play in the game and why? Uh, let's see, favorite class. I think I like the engineer best because she's a, she, she involves a little more thinking because she does have her weapons that you can use so you can blast creatures away, but she also has a lot of uh, devices that she uses that are more like traps, so you have to strategize a little more with her. And to me, that's a little more fun to have to think about, okay, how am I going to take down this group of guys who have now surrounded me?